Okay, this will probably be my last video on the Jewel Ringer project. I'll probably go do something else now, but I got it as far as I want to take it. I finally got these uh, 10,000 microfarad uh, 10 volt capacitors and lined them up four in a row in parallel and have this running on those capacitors. This will run for me at that light level about three minutes. That's it. And it's not all that spectacular. So. Uh, I would not do it this way with the coil and the diodes. I would probably do it another way like I've shown in some of the other videos. But this is how he posted it. And this is the replication that uh, that I did. And uh, this is the Jewel Ringer by um, Laser Saber. And there's the circuit that I've, I've shown in other videos. And like I say, this is uh, kind of a pitiful little light at that light level. It only goes for about three minutes and then it goes out. So perhaps I've done something wrong. I don't know, but like I say, this is about as far as I want to take it. Now, uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it, and, and I may do another configuration to get more light because th that's really not usable light. That's just, you know, a luminescent uh, uh, glow light, like a night light. But let me show you what it would look like at the brightness that I wanted at, and that would be like that. See it go out? I'm just going to hook this battery right up to it. I just connected the return line on this uh, bulb, and this is where I want this light. I want it like that. I want it bright. And you got to pay for it. I mean, there's no getting around. you got to pay for that light, and that's a hundred and some odd milliamps to get a bright light enough so you can read by it. And you can see it just goes out quickly with those capacitors. Now, the last video I showed, I showed a supercapacitor. A supercapacitor is vastly better than these electrolytic capacitors at 10,000 microfarad. And a AA battery is vastly more energy contained than a 10 farad supercapacitor. So it, it's one of these deals. I think I'd rather just use a AA battery in this circuit, uh, perhaps with a super cap, and then maybe with a potentiometer uh, over there where that coil is, and just go that direction with this and uh, make a usable light. But I'm pretty sure we could get away with maybe a diode here, uh, a capacitor, and then a potentiometer instead of this coil arrangement uh, if you want to make a usable light out of this. Because, like I say, this light's nice. I mean, it makes a nice light light. I'll turn the lights off to see what it looks like in the dark. And, uh, I mean, it's a nice little light, but uh, nothing to write home about. So. Anyway, I'm going to go another direction with this, and I do thank Laser Saber for this uh, this great um, circuit. It was a lot of fun to work with, and that's like I say, as far as I want to take this replication. Thanks for watching.